class, Sophia. I have learnt a lot about paint in earlier class. I have drawn one star also. Now I want more similar stars on the page. Please tell me how to do that. Romy, it is not difficult. Please tell me how to make similar stars. We will learn how to edit pictures and much more in this chapter. In paint, we can draw beautiful drawings very easily. We can also copy, paste and resize a picture to make it more beautiful. But for all these tasks, we need to select a part of the drawing or the whole drawing. Let us learn how to do so. Selecting an image. The selection tools are present on the image group of the home tab. There are three types of selection tools in paint. Rectangular selection tool, freeform selection tool, selection options. Let us learn about them one by one. Rectangular selection tool. This tool lets us select the rectangular area of our drawing. The steps to select the rectangular area of the drawing are as follows. Step 1. Click on the down arrow of the select tool on the home tab and click on the rectangular selection tool. Step 2. Click and drag the mouse over the area to be selected. Step 3. Release the mouse button when it is selected completely. The selected area has a dotted rectangular box around it. Freeform Selection Tool This tool lets us select the area of the drawing in any shape. The steps to select the drawing in any shape are as follows. Step 1. Click on the down arrow of the Select Tool on the Home tab and click on the Freeform Selection Tool. Step 2. Click and drag the mouse in the required shape to select the area of the drawing. Step 3. Release the mouse button when it is selected completely. The selected area also has a dotted rectangular box around it. Selection Options Under the Selection Options, we can perform the following functions. To select the entire picture, click on the Select All option. To select everything in the picture, except the selected part, click on the Invert Selection option. To delete the selected part of the picture, click on the Delete option. We can also make the background color in the selection transparent or opaque by selecting the Transparent Selection option. Copying and pasting an object. Paint allows us to copy and paste any part of the drawing or the complete drawing. Copying means to make a duplicate copy of the drawing. Copy and paste options are available on the clipboard group of the home tab. The steps to copy and paste our drawing are as follows. Step 1. Select the area which we want to copy using any of the desired selection tool. Step 2. Click on the copy option. Step 3. Click on the paste option. We will see a copy of the selected portion at the top left corner of the paint window. Drag it to the required place. Cutting and pasting an object. Paint also allows us to cut and paste any part of drawing or complete drawing. Cutting means moving an object to some other required place. Cut and paste options are available on the clipboard group of the home tab. The steps to cut and paste our drawing are as follows. Step 1. Select the area which we want to cut using any of the desired selection tool. Step 2. Click on the cut option. We will see that the selected area has been deleted and the background color, color 2, is visible. Step 3. Click on the Paste option. We will see the selected matter on the top left corner of the paint window. Drag it to the required place. Resizing and skewing a picture. We can also use paint to resize a picture and make it bigger or smaller, wide or narrow and skew 
tilt it. Resize tool is available on the image group of the home tab. To resize a picture, the steps are as follows. Step 1. Select the area of the picture which we want to resize. Step 2. Click on the Resize tool. We will get Resize and Skew dialog box. Step 3. In the Resize section, select Maintain Aspect Ratio checkbox. Step 4. To resize, enter new width in the horizontal box and new height in the vertical box in the resize section. Or to skew, enter the new numbers in the horizontal box and vertical box in the skew degrees section. Step 5. Click on the OK button. Cropping a picture. Rotate tool is available on the image group of the home tab. This tool clears everything outside the selected area. Only selected part is visible after cropping a picture. To crop a picture, the steps are as follows. Step 1. Click on the down arrow of the Select tool and click on the Rectangular Selection tool. Step 2. Click and drag the mouse over the area to be selected. Step 3. Click on the Crop command. The cropped picture will appear on the drawing area. Resizing and skewing a picture. We can also use paint to resize a picture and make it bigger or smaller, wide or narrow and skew, tilt it. Resize tool is available on the image group of the home tab. To resize a picture, the steps are as follows. Step 1. Select the area of the picture which we want to resize. Step 2. Click on the Resize tool. We will get Resize and Skew dialog box. Step 3. In the Resize section, select Maintain Aspect Ratio checkbox. Step 4. To resize, enter new width in the horizontal box and new height in the vertical box in the Resize section. Step 5. Click on the OK button. Cropping a picture. Rotate tool is available on the image group of the home tab. This tool clears everything outside the selected area. Only selected part is visible after cropping a picture. To crop a picture, the steps are as follows. Step 1. Click on the down arrow of the select tool and click on the rectangular selection tool. Step 2. Click and drag the mouse over the area to be selected. Step 3. Click on the crop command. The cropped picture will appear on the drawing area. Viewing a picture. Paint provides options to choose how we want to work with the picture more easily. We can zoom in, zoom out on a certain part of picture or on the whole picture and can also use grid lines to color. All these options are available in the View tab. Zoom in and Zoom out tools can be clicked to change the size of picture. The 100% tool can be used when we finish working in a zoomed in view and want it back to normal. Rulers can be used to view a horizontal ruler at the top of the drawing area and vertical ruler on the left side of the drawing area so that we can measure the size of our drawing. Grid lines make the screen look like a graph sheet. It can be used to move pictures to exact locations on the drawing area. To remove the rulers and grid lines, simply uncheck the box to their left. To view a picture in full screen, click on the full screen. To come back to the normal screen, press the ESC key on the keyboard. Setting your drawing as desktop background. After making a drawing, we can set it as our desktop background. To set our drawing as desktop background, the steps are as follows. Step 1. Click on the File tab. Step 2. Click on the Set as Desktop Background option from the drop-down menu. We will get the following three options. Fill. This option fills the entire screen. Tile. This option tiles a picture so it is repeated and fills the entire screen. Center. This option centers the picture in the middle of the screen. 
Step 3. Click on any one of the options to set our drawing as desktop background. Tectionary Rectangular Selection To select any square or rectangular part of the picture. Freeform Selection To select any irregularly shaped part of the picture. Grid Lines Grid lines make the screen look like a graph sheet. They can be used to move pictures to exact locations on the drawing area. Resize to change the size or skew the picture. Let's refresh. We can use select options to select one part of a picture and cut or copy it from the picture. We can also delete a part of the picture. To resize or skew a picture, use resize option. To rotate or flip a picture, use rotate option. To crop a picture, use crop option. We can zoom in or zoom out a picture using options in zoom group. Grid lines and rulers can be used to draw our picture more precisely. We can set our drawing as desktop background.